What's up, guys? Welcome to the Morning Wood. I'm your host, John Heiss. I'm joined, as always, by my friend in the black shirt today, the great Matt Modi. What's up, Matt? Yeah, we're black shirt bros today, so that's got to be good for something. That's crazy. I mean, I came ready to kill. That's why I put on my black shirt this morning. I don't know why you would wear black, but I wear black because of that. I, I like I, when I'm ready to go. That's my black shirt. It's like my Sunday okay. tiger. There you go. I like it. Red, which what he used, but I use black. Yeah, it just you have a Sunday color. Yep, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest with you, bro. I think it's time for us to slay. We've got a lot of NBA, a lot of NFL. Well, obviously one NFL game, but it's an NFL game, so you always have action on that. I think we need to jump right into that, then jump into the NBA, and then we'll get the hell out of here. What do you think about that, bro? That sounds great. All right, so first of all, the last time we spoke was last week. I think it was a Wednesday, and I got to be honest with you. We dominated the books. I don't think I missed a single bet that game. Did I? No, you didn't. This game, no, 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 no. Yeah, so nine bets, seven winners. The two losses were yours, but one of them I don't think was your fault. Yeah, I mean, so I had DeMar DeRozan 25-plus points. Technically, he played 17 minutes, but he left that game hurt. And I didn't watch it, but I could just assume that he got hurt in like the first minute and then just like gutted through 16 more minutes, eventually realized he couldn't do it anymore, but deserves mm -hmm. praise for even playing those extra 16 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and if you gave him like 12 and a half points per one point, then he would have hit 25 plus. So we were, right, we were right there. Yep. Right there. Right there. It happens. Sometimes, you know, guys get hurt. It is what it is. He was well on his way to 25 plus. So everybody knows Easily. that. Yeah. But anyways, bro, I got to be honest with you. I'm very fired up to have NFL tonight. One more shot. I think I cracked the code. I don't know if you saw what okay. I was doing yesterday, but with SGPs, I'm pretty sure you can't lose with three-leg SGPs. I okay. keep them around plus 120 to plus 150. No chance they lose. So I'm going to work on another one of those for tonight. But I do have two straight bets, and I might have an NBA – it's a lean right now, but it's only a lean because I haven't bet it yet. Like, I'm going to go yeah. bet it now, like once we're done with the show. So there is that. We'll right. talk about that. I think you have three as well. That's correct. I got one football, two NBA. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go first. Actually, you know what? I'll do the. I'll do my football. You do your football. Then I'll do my football. And then you can do your NBA. Then I'll do my NBA. And then you do your NBA. That's great. genius right here. I bet you we get this done in less than 10 minutes, the whole show. I think All we right. can. Let's do it. All right, so first I'm going to go with Rico Dowdle, five-plus receptions, plus 270 at Caesars. Here's the thing. Mike McCarthy just came out and said that this guy is the lead back. I don't know what that really means, but let's just hope it means that he's always on the field. In a game like tonight, it's hard to imagine that that's going to mean a lot for his rushing yards, but it could easily mean completions and receptions. Now, I know five receptions is a lot for a running back, but this dude has been targeted at least six times in two of the last three games. I'm thinking it's Cooper Rush's fault, too. He can't throw that far. His ADOT is like six and a half yards, which is conducive for a running back. Two weeks ago, Rush came in against the Detroit Lions and targeted Rico twice on one drive in the fourth quarter. The next week, Dak Prescott got hurt. Rush played the entire fourth quarter and targeted Dowdle three times. I know the haters are going to say that all those games were in a negative game script, but whatever. You don't think that's going to happen tonight? The Cowboys are seven-point dogs at home to the Houston Texans. They're probably going to get their ass kicked, and when that happens, Rush is going to be throwing. Obviously, they're not going to let him just throw the ball all the way downfield. It's going to be the dowdle. Five-plus receptions at plus 270 is insane. It just feels easy. Well, um, I have a play that I think you're going to like. Um, I took Rico Dowdle, four plus receptions, plus 130 odds at Bet365. <laughs> nice. So nice. I love it when we, we don't confer on our bets, and then we end up having we to see one. Yeah, that's got to make the, the, the viewer feel good that we're both mm -hmm. on the same player separately. Um, so yeah, I'll take four plus, you take five plus, and we're both going to mm -hmm. win. Because in order for him to get the five, he's got to get the four. That's a valid point. So you could win and I could lose, but I don't think I'm going to. I, I think you're kind of soft for only <laughs> going with four because I thought about going four and I was like, what am I doing? You know what I mean? Like, what am I doing for real? Like, if you've watched Cooper Rush play recently, then you know that it's not great, bro. 
know what I'm saying? Not great. Oh, he's terrible. He's but terrible. He will throw it underneath. So there yeah. is that. All right. So then, since that's your first NFL, I'll go with my um my <laughs> other NFL. It's going to be John Mechie, 25 plus receiving yards, plus 210. Here's the thing. This should never be this, all right, because I know Nico Collins is coming back. The haters are going to be all over the place with Nico Collins, Nico Collins, Nico Collins. But guess what? Nico Collins takes out Xavier Hutchinson, all right? That's who's going to get just completely fried on that. Uh, Mechie is taking over for Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs, not going to play. He's not going to play again this season. Mechie and C.J. Stroud are best friends, I think. Uh, even if they weren't, it wouldn't matter because 25 <laughs> plus yards for this at plus 210 is an absolute joke. Mechie, I'm looking at probably a three for like 45 type line, 25 plus. Not really that hard. Feels easy. I like it. Yeah, I mean he's gonna be the slot guy with uh, mm -hmm. with with no digs. I like it. No, that's good. I don't have any. I don't have any notes on that. I, I, I'll just go right into my first NBA one that I know Nigel's gonna like. Uh, Grady Dick. 20 plus points plus 105 odds at FanDuel. This is the perfect time to ride Dick tonight because he's gone soft the last two games. Three games ago, 32 points against the Bucks. Last two games, 16 points, nine points, shot four of 17, three for 12 in those two games, one of 10, one for five from deep. Positive regression shooting performance expected tonight. No Barnes, no quickly still. Uh, in eight games without those two, he's played at least 30 minutes in seven of eight. Uh, he's also scored at least 20 points in five of those eight games and five of seven if we're only looking at the games in which he played 30 minutes. Uh, with those two off the court, he averages eight and a half more points per 36. Usage rate, 25%. That's the second highest on the team, only behind R.J. Barrett. Great matchup against a bad Pacers defense, 23rd in defensive net rating. They allow the most points via isolation, six most points to the pick and roll ball handler, fourth most off screen and via free throws. And those last two, make up 40% of Dick's points. So Dick tonight, everyone's going to, everyone's going to be off because he's had two bad games in a row. That's when we go right back on the Dick train. So that's my first NBA one. That's nice too. I love how you have all the like stats and like the number, because I'll be honest with you. My NBA play is De'Aaron Fox <laughs> over seven and a half points. First quarter minus one Oh four at Caesars. And my analysis is, he literally cannot miss a shot. I mean, the guy drops 60. Next night, he drops 49. Gets the night off. Comes back. He gets the Hawks. No DeMar DeRozan. It's just going to be De'Aaron Fox again. And eight points in the first quarter. That's an absolute. I thought this was the first half of the first quarter line. It's literally <laughs> the entire first quarter. So eight points. Come on, guys. I mean, the first quarter lines are the best ones for me just because it, all they do is break down, like, the, his yeah. standard line so they just divide it into four and just give you that number it's like that's not how it works so until they stop doing that i'm just going to keep riding these first quarter lines so over seven and a half minus 104 at caesars feels easy i like it i'll take your first quarter bet i'll raise you another one mm -hmm. uh joel Embiid, seven plus first quarter points plus one ten odds at bet three six five uh, he's questionable tonight with an illness. If he gets ruled out, we just get our money back. No issues there. I think he's going to play. I mean, he's got to play. The Sixers are 2-10, and 10 and they're the laughing stock of, of the NBA. Correct. Um, two games this season he's played. First game, he played six minutes in the first quarter. Second game, he looked a lot better. Played eight minutes in the first quarter. Scored 10 points in that game. If these trends continue, he's going to play 10 minutes tonight. I think he might play the whole first quarter because he's been back for about a week now. So they're slowly ramping him up. But um, when the Embiid starts to look bad is in the second half when he gets tired. Uh, poor guy just he gets, gets tired. Very, very relatable. NBA player should get tired. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, but seven points for Embiid is, is a total gift. Like I get that we can't just look at last year uh, stats because he played. I mean, he was healthy. He played the whole first quarter. But even if you look at games in which he didn't play the entire first quarter, he's still putting up seven plus points on the reg. And the Heat. Last year were a terrible matchup for centers, literally number one. They gave up the fewest points in the restricted area, and they gave up the fewest points per, to centers. That's not the case this year. I don't know what's different, but I do know that they allow the third most points per game to post-up players. That's how Embiid scores. Uh, according to props.cash, 20th ranked matchup for center point props, whereas last year they were literally the worst, like ranked number one in terms of fewest points allowed to centers. Now they're all the way to 20th. So Seven points for Embiid is crazy low. I'll gladly take advantage of that for plus money because we're getting a discount 
because of the limited minutes and because the heat matchup, which I don't think should be discounted that much. So Embiid, first quarter points, plus 110. Uh, seven plus first quarter points, plus 110. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's going to do it for the morning. Would it last a little longer than it normally does? But at the same time, we said everything we needed to say. So Rico Dowdle, five plus receptions, plus 270 at Caesars. John Mechie, the third, 25-plus receiving yards, plus 210 at ESPN. And De'Aaron Fox, over 7.5 points, minus 104 at Caesars. That's my three. What about you, Matt? Yeah, I got uh, Rico Dowdle, four-plus receptions, which I guess makes me a softie for just going with four. Mm -hmm. um, we got Grady Dick, 20-plus points, plus 105 at FanDuel. And we got Joel Embiid. Seven plus first quarter points plus 110 odds at bet 365. All right, that's going to do it for us. Stay tuned on this channel, though, because later on today, I'm going to go live with the tools at Odds Jam at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to see if we can find some more bangers. The, definitely the NBA slate is going to open up, so we'll use those tools to get those in. You can check out Jedi Modi on Twitter or on YouTube, however you prefer to do it. Do me a favor before you get out of here. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. We'll see you later on today.